So the poll is over and it has been decided. We are starting with Prince Tornik. Cool, cool. We will go with Prince Tornik then. So we are starting as Prince Tornik of Tau Clarjetti. Member of the Bagratuni family, historically important. We start as Apostolic and Armenian. So actually we have both the things we not need to do at the beginning. Uh, also there's a fun idea of doing uh, Armenia into refounding the Roman Empire given the amount of time the Romans spent dealing with the Armenian problems. This is true. It's true. Uh, right, so we will start as this. Uh, we don't need an, we, we don't need achievements on this, so I'll leave the mods running. Because this isn't an achievement run, so it means we get Barbie Barbie Shop. And who doesn't want Barbie Shop? So let's go with this. So, let's Bagratunis is good. Right, let's have a look at what we've got. So, we are not married. That is surprisingly useful. We have Grigor, who is pensive. Grigor is getting stewardshipped. So, let's get Grigor on stewardship. We are military. Oh, we got actually some... Decentish starting perks. Probably don't want to continue down them, do we? What's our early goal here? I feel like one of our early initial things is we are absolutely pledging to probably the Byzantines. Do we think? Uh, isn't there an achievement for Fort Reform in Greater Armenia? Not to my knowledge. Because if there is, we'll restart. But I don't think there's one to do with it. Unless I'm wrong. I think it's just a decision. New save hype indeed. Well, new save hype for everyone else. Not for you, because it means you have got to do the Im new images. Um, I don't think there's an achievement for Greater Armenia. Is there? Are you lying to me, chat? No, that still fucks me off. How's we not got that? Stupid game. Now there's the Gurids one, which we should do at some point. We should do the Turkish Eagle, maybe. That's quite fun. I do want to do the Recreate Empire of Tibet as well. We'll do that on stream. That one's surprisingly easy. Uh... No, I think we're good. So I reckon, not least because it would allow us to norm a bit of Byzantine territory. Do we need any Byzantine territory? The problem is I can't see the decision yet. Which is a problem. So I need to work out what why 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 do they still not have a region map mode given how many achievements rely on regions they really should have a region map mode like why is there not a region map mode someone modded in a region map mode because i would very much like a region map mode um this is actually quite a nice starting position because we actually control all of these titles. Right, finding a spouse might be hard because of our religion. I feel like we want to see if we can eat to this territory. 22 months is almost two years. KRFSM, thank you for 22 months. It is almost two years. It's almost two years. You would almost be out for shoplifting by now. Christ, we've got terrible stewardship. Right. What kingdom is this part of? I feel like reforming the kingdom of Georgia is our first priority here. 
So we are going to need to do some conquering. Now, in terms of territory, mm, all right, mm, not great. All right, not great. All right, what we got? Hills, hills, plains. I see a lot of hills in our future, chat. I see hill warriors in our future. That's nice. I forgot how nice Abkhazia is. If that's technically in the greater Armenia region, then that is going to be our future capital. I actually had Georgian, uh, Georgian food this Friday. It's good stuff. It is. There's a Georgian, there used to be a Georgian place in Labrick Grove that I used to go to at lunch. That's nice as well. And that's Plains. Yeah, we want, we want a norm on Abkhazia. So I think we are for now going to stay on Marshall. And we will probably go... Should we go Control Growth? I feel like that's probably the most useful for us. So we do have a kid. Are any of... How do you feel about us? Right, we're only a stray. That's good. So I do think we pledge for that. We have 1,400 troops. How many troops do you have? 934. Okay, we can survive that. How many troops have you got? 1,053. Mm, we can probably beat you if we fight you now. Until you pick up an alliance. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Haven't we got... I feel... Like our cousin... Who is also apostolic... Cousin, are you up? Four. Yes. I feel like that's our starter alliance. Well, second cousin. Like, I feel she's pretty distant. So technically, yes, the inbreeding billions, but it's very low level inbreeding. It's sort of like inbreeding light. Sort of like new inbreeding. Sugar free inbreeding. But that frees us up to shag around and get a better kid. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's not Alabama levels of inbreeding. If anything, it's sort of American Georgia level of inbreeding, which is appropriate because we're playing as Georgia. Plus, he's got a lot of troops. And if we murder his son and she inherits, then we technically steal his kingdom. You know, just a thought. Yeah, gluten-free inbreeding. It isn't your sister, so in this game it might as well be from the other side of the world. Exactly. I think we do that. I think that is the obvious play. We can initially declare wars. Let's not be declaring holy wars on people. Because that just seems like a shockingly bad idea. We do want a claim on Abkhazia. Our priest doesn't like us. None of our provinces follow our religion. Which is a bad sign. These could be worse. Would quite like to be endorsed by my bishop. Why doesn't he like us? Just because we're lustful, whatever. Seduce! No. 
Um, sway. Look, it's always worth checking. Sometimes you can seduce your bishop. Stupid sexy bishop. Right. I do kind of feel like we're pledging to the Byzantines. Sup, Basil? Would you be up for religious taxation? Oh, hang on, it'll go low. Don't we want to go low and then get title revocation pr 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 protection? And then we'll get religious protection later. Because he can't revoke his, our title from us. I think we go yoink. And I think we go up to normal. And then title protection? I think like we just definitely want that. Problem is we can't modify it for everything because we can't propose more than three changes. So I think we have to we go title revocation first, don't we? I think we go title revocation first. Because that means the worst he can do is put us in prison. And he shouldn't anyway because we're astray, not Massively different. Right. So we want our claim on Abkhazia. Come to unique, ex an inexorable conclusion. You are truly the best candidate I have for my open council. To my miserable vassal. Love you too, man. Love you too. He is a bit Hulk smashes, Basil. He is a glorious hunk of a human man. We shag his wife. Speaking of, we do need to try and find a lover. So, we get a claim on him, we start stealing nibbling territory off of him. We do need to shag around. How you doing? No. Uh, no, go away. <laughs> You're not raising my son to be Greek Orthodox. Um... We need, we need someone with stupid sexy traits. Is there anyone intelligent, female, and adult in the world? Now I sound like Andrew Tate. Who is up for some sexy times? Catherine here. Catherine. I'm gonna marry someone. Mm, I don't think we're gonna be able to seduce anyone. Not until we get some traits for it. There's normally some beauties knocking around. Yeah. 
And the problem is the penalty is going to mean that we have low seduction chance. Because we're going to get that minus 50 because they don't like us. Because the apostolic stuff. Which is a problem. Uh, Larder. Almost as good as a year ago. Oh, oh, Larder's up for some, um... Potentially up for some sexy times. No, nope, not that one. Of course I have it. Larder! Do the sexy dance with us, Larder. As an intelligent woman with lustful. Ooh, right, well, we'll keep an eye out after we've... Uh... Maybe we're only allowed to seduce people that are named after cars this run. But yeah, did you enjoy your new starter video um, with uh, with lots of commercials? I don't mean we don't need that opportunity. We've already got ninety five percent chance. Come on, give me a claim. Because if we do need to think. Streamer is never early. They always arrive exactly when they intend to. Um, I don't think we want to create a cadet branch. We actually want to take that over. I think we want to take over the main branch. OBS permitting. Yeah, OBS permitting indeed. We are losing piety. Homage. Fuck all. Uh, right, we got a larder. Chat, we got a larder. Hail, Basil. Probably work out where our holy sites are. Lada, come to court. Uh, did someone say there was an intelligent, lustful lady out there? Ah, Faruda. How you doing? She's also craven, so we have a trait match. Claim. Now he's allied to that bloke, but if we can drag in our cousin, we should be alright. Um, we're going sledding with our son. Oh, we're a good dad. Actually, we can still find a spouse for him, can't we? How are you doing? Where are you at? I feel like we should get her a stuffed fox. Who doesn't want a stuffed fox? Everyone wants a stuffed fox. If someone bought me a stuffed fox, I would definitely be more attracted to them. Right, where are you? All the way over there. I mean, less useful.
still bitter at that one in Leeds. It's, 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 it's a little town in edge of Yorkshire border. But yeah, I'm still bitter I wasn't allowed to buy that stuffed fox. I feel like that's too far away for it to be a useful alliance. What about the Yazidis? The problem is these are all Islamic, aren't they? He's Apostolic and Armenian. Count Simba. Doesn't have any daughters. Who, who doesn't like a stuffed fox? That's that's a game bug. Everyone should love a stuffed fox. Oh, you absolute beauty, streamer luck. Streamer luck. Oh man, I wanted to gift her, but now I can't. Do we even want to be with someone who doesn't love stuffed foxes? That character is three foxes in a trench coat, yeah. You had that as Camp Simba, that's because I said Camp Simba. Right, we need to quietly build some gold up and then we can smack him around. No. Fox or ox? I think ox is harder to kind of keep in a house, I think. Uh, we should probably guardian him. Um, I feel like we're actually going to make it the bishop. Because it makes the bishop like us a bit more. Come on, man. You should be liking us. She's craven, so I suspect she wants a rose with a note. What was Scar's name before he got to Scar? This is this is one of the big philosophical questions in there. Right, another martial one. feel like we probably want hit and run. Cool. But to court. Well, at least we don't have to go down the seduction path now, which is useful. So we can potentially go straight down scheming and see if we can murder our cousin and inherit all his territory. How many people would we have to kill to get our husband's our cousin's territory? Not many. Oh! Larder's become a hatchback. She's a hatchback, Larder. Alright, dude. Uh, we can start converting. Seven years, Jesus. Welcome to the stream, TI Comedian. Peasant rabble, bring it. I feel like we want a good chunk of gold. We do kind of still want another ally. Your spindly daughter is already engaged. I'm guessing none of these are... He's, he... She's comely. Okay. Don't feel like she's worth acknowledging. And I would have got us an alliance. We could have married her off. Mm. Mm. 
maybe should have acknowledged her. Main problem is we'd end up in prison. Try and destroy your native country where we're going, Greater Armenia. That is the plan. Um, hello. I feel like our our Tiljad here is is potentially good. Hello, Max. How you doing? I feel like we legitimized T Tiljad here. It's kind of he's intelligent. He's too good not to. Probably lands us in prison. But at least we should have enough money to ransom ourselves out now. And I think he can only imprison us for being a fornicator once, can't he? I'm pretty certain you can only be imprisoned as a fornicator once. He must be Tashat, not Til uh, Tiljad. Well, we can rename him. He is potentially our heir at the moment. I don't think we can rename him technically yet. But we should be able to when if we let him inherit. I think once he inherits, we can do. Am I dropping frames? I feel like I'm dropping frames. But we'll see. We'll watch carefully. Um, have up, right of troops. Uh, raise all. You should be all right here. Yoink. Yoink. Any good? Twenty-one. Have you considered joining my service and converting to apostolic? <sighs> Sir, have you considered these possibilities? Oh, right. Yeah, but, but, yeah. Give us, give us um, her back. I definitely seem to be dropping frames. I think we're back now. Well, Ashot was our other potential choice for a start, because Ashot is actually our cousin. He's over here. We are going to try and steal his kingdom. He's got another son. That's annoying. We might need to murder his children. Because if his daughter inherits, she's... Mm. I wonder if we're going to want to unbetroth ourselves to her. How many people do we have to murder to get that title? A lot, I suspect. Uh, is Ferudia the guardian of our son? No, our son is... B. 
being looked after by the bishop, who hopefully will shortly like us. Can we... Are we still swaying him? We're not. Let's sway him again. It's because we, we started doing stupid sexy times. Why did Basil steal a bootical? Because he could. Because we revealed that we had the affair so he could imprison her. Parthian tactics. Then I think you should probably be on domestic. Control increases in Clargetti. Well provisioned armies would be nice. Just get accustomed to foraging. Uh, in real history, Ashot rebelled against uh, Abbasid, uh, the Abbasid Caliphate and reformed in independence by re re rebellion. Yeah, that's it was why one of our start choices was to start as him. Because we wanted to, I put it to chat to vote to see whether we go with the Bagratuni. Precisely because of that. But that's why we're Prince Tornit, because we're still of the same dynasty. It's why we're not going to found a an offshoot cadet, cadet branch. We want to get control of the main dynasty. Right, good news is our priest likes us now. Where are our holy sites out of interest? Oh, hey, we're going mad. Nice. Well, we're possessed. So that's fun. Um, Lada has one in the boot again. We can probably get hold of that relatively easily. I assume that maybe counts as Greater Armenia then. Um, we are going to praise... He, he is quite ambitious. He's diligent and he's forgiving. Empathy and kind heart. In the end we decided it wasn't worth a shot. I see what you did there. Right, we can actually stop that swaying now. Uh, the Armenians living in Marmanid have begun to identify as Mesopotamian. Nice. I didn't know you could revive Mesopotamian culture. That must be one of their custom ones you can offshoot then. Nice. Right, we do have Highland Warriors and Hill Dwellers, which is good. And Strong Believers. Uh, how do you get the Glass House? I've never managed to get it. Yeah, it's a random event when you're a lunatic. But we are, in fact, possessed. Which does mean we're probably going to die relatively young. But that's fine. Oh, we have a beautiful boy. Do we legitimize? We now have some possible kiddos. Interesting, Duke Dimitri pledged to the Byzantine Empire as well. Right, we could do with another ally. Because if we got another ally, I'm pretty certain we could kick the hell out of Abkhazia. Unless we can also afford some mercs. We'd need a bit more gold to do that. Hmm. No 
one has daughters. Rather, no one useful has daughters. Have some daughters, please. You got a daughter. I mean, you've only got 400 troops, but you did have a daughter. You are of the right religion. Who is he allied to? Dude up here with four, three hundred. I mean, it might be worth a go. We could give it uh, Draroslav. I feel like we don't want to wait on this. Does our cousin actually like us? So we, yeah, he's got 1,900 troops. I think we go on this. Well, we can. Plus, he likes us. He should come in. As long as our cousin comes in, we've got this. Simba, you asshole! I gave you one of my sons. Evil blackguard! I'm not giving you 105 gold. Fuck you! Cuz, cuz. Yay! How you doing, cousin? I'm totally not planning on murdering you. Anyone who says I'm planning on murdering you is lying. Don't listen. Don't listen to them, cuz. They're absolutely lying. If anyone tells you that I'm planning on murdering you, they're absolutely lying. Okay? Yeah, go hide in the mountains. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to go. Let's go down to three. Right, they're going to wait in the mountains, which means they think that they can win that, and I suspect they're right. Yeah, that's balanced. Let's not do that. Let's go siege down that castle. Because fighting that guy in the mountains is a bad life choice. I'd much rather siege this castle down for four months and then go slap him. I will murder anyone who says they're going to murder our cousin, yeah. Lads, you can't siege as fast as I can, so let's not do that, shall we? I think there are cat fights going on downstairs, or cat disputes. Because basically, as long as we can use our cousin's armies, we're fine here. You want to come with us, Kaz? 
Cars? Cheers, cars. Right, we should get him now. Oh no, Mama's been injured. I suspect he just killed a man. Uh, yeah, man of arms counters. I mean, we might as well finish off strategist. Hello, cat. Thank you very much. Enjoy my comedy. I'm here all night. Don't forget to try to veal. Right, this siege might even be enough to get it for us. Has not my cat fabricated a claim on Napoleon's empire? He, not my cat, is granted special privileges to access his IKEA chair in the living room. That's his. That's his privilege. Which, to be fair, he's got much better at sticking to because he likes his jumper on his chair the main issue is Napoleon has worked out that if he can provoke not my cat into attacking him then it's not my cat that's going to get thrown out so there is an element of like you get with siblings where he tries to pick fights in a way that we won't see so that he can then act the innocent party and not my cat that's thrown out Let's go kill them. Cars, you coming? Cars? Keep up. Cheers, cars. Uh, sir, I believe the word is yoink. Now we just need to get some territory off of him. Now I would quite like it if you wouldn't accept this. You would be doing me an immense favour if you didn't accept this. I think we're going to need to just get a claim on his territory. Oh, I don't want to do that until we finish that conversion. No. Chat, remind me in 23 months. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it, you son of a bitch. Good morning, Sinneth22. What I'm hearing is that Napoleon is working on reenacting the Congress of Vienna as like pretty much. Yeah, Napoleon is a bit too smart for his own good. Come on, rebel, you son of a bitch. We actually do have enough that we might want to start thinking about some men at arms. Like, can we get some custom ones? Because I would really like some custom ones. Uh, no, go away. How old is he? Four. We probably, as he is likely our heir, he's quite, potentially quite intrigueful. I wonder if we break our betrothal to Princess Soppy. Or do we long game it? Have you got kids yet? You do not. Mm. She's going to pop out a lot of sprogs. 
We could break that betrothal and betroth her to Tiljad. She's still going to be young enough to have kids by the time they get married. And that would keep the alliance. He's a baddie now, he won't be shortly. And the one thing I am wondering about is whether we keep him that, because doesn't that give us some... Um... Yeah, see, look, we can recruit Melitha Moon. No, they're not very good in hills, are they? So they're probably less useful to us. Are we going to have to do a lot of desert warrior-ness? Don't think there's a lot of deserts around here, is there? Do we have a lot of desert territory we're going to have to deal with? Some dry lands, maybe. I feel like mountain troops are going to be way better. Uh, on which period of history do I specialise? I my kind of main specialism is World War One and Napoleonics, but to be honest, I'm mostly interested in kind of history of the obscure. So I tend to focus on lots of different things. Um, so everything from Crusader history, Malta, things like that, through to World War Two convoys, whatever I fancy, really. Um. Yeah, I kind of feel like mountain troops are in our future. Terrain overlay might help. Good plan. Yeah. So we've got plains, hills. Hills troops is going to be big. There is a ton of drylands down there. And desert. Maybe we do want them. Especially if our plan in future is to resist the Mongols. Didn't we have like Caucasian wolves, wolves trait for our culture? I don't know, let's have a look. So we've got Eastern Roman, yes. Oh, we can get cataphracts. Oh, we can get cataphracts. Lovely, lovely cataphracts. We've got rough terrain. <gasps> we can get camels. We can get war camels, chat. I don't think we need the boots or units when we can get war camels. Let's be honest here. Georgian has the wolves. It's not that hard for us to go Georgian. Briefly. Well, we don't need to hybridize, we just need to temporarily convert long enough to recruit one unit of that man-at-arms. Which is totally durable. Caucasian wolves. Manaspa. Oh, those are sexy. Those are some sexy horsey motherfuckers. Camels or elephants? Uh, we can get camels, we can't get elephants. Can we get that as part of our culture? 
Can we reform that into our culture? Is that unique to them? So that's Caucasian wolves. Has to be of Georgian descent. Are we staying... Okay, important question in chat. Are we staying pure Armenian? Do we need to be pure Armenian to get the decision? To reform Greater Armenia? Because... You know what we could do? Armenian cultural or apostolic faith. So we could reform Armenian culture. And merge Georgian and Armenian. Uh, but then we'd lose the Byzantine heritage, which would lose us our cataphracts. I think we do the cheeky conversion to get them. Yeah, and the original challenge is both. I mean, that's nice. But not... Maybe not worth everything. Culture Sweet Georgian. Be Georgian 3.0. Oh no, not another Georgia. Two Georgia, two Furious. Um, I think maybe we briefly convert to get the unit. I think that's our plan. We convert, recruit the unit. One thing we could do, given our long-term goal is to counter the Mongols... By out mongling the Mongols, maybe. We could aim to only have mounted men at arms. Alan is already a culture, and we are going to do an Alan run. We could just only have mounted men at arms. Maybe we don't go only. Maybe we have to say that at any given point, the majority of our men-at-arms have to be mounted. So we go proper horse warriors. What do you think on that, chat? Only mounted and direct mounted counters. Yeah, that would work. We could do that. Troops that counter, counter mounted cavalry and that are mounted. Horse warriors are fun in mountains. Ah, yeah, but that's what we're saying. Is if we get the Georgian ones, they legitimately are fun in mountains. Because as has been pointed out to me, the Georgians have Caucasian wolves. Which means they can get Manaspa. And Manaspa do extra damage in hills and mountains. And I think we already have mountain warriors. Which means we get a supply limit boost in hills and a levy size, levy size boost in hills. We could just go mountains. Plus, we've got Eastern Roman Legacy, so we're getting cataphracts anyway. We definitely want to get rid of Fervent Temple Builders anyway. Yeah, we're going to go Cav or Cav Counter. That is our Men at Arms rules we'll, we'll customize to over time. Anyway, come on, rebel, you little bastard. Rebel. Rebel, you know you want to. Um, 
I'll just take the... I don't need a soul, mate. I don't need a lover, I just need a friend. I am absolutely trying to provoke a rebellion in Georgia. So the reason Georgia's on my mind is that if he rebels, we get to seize all three of his titles. And actually this dude is going to rebel as well, so we can steal his title. Which means we can then set this up as a nice duchy alongside our existing duchy and we have control over it all. Um, yeah, we're going full Sherman on them in a minute. Because remember that although they theoretically have the strength, have the greatest strength over us, I will not be threatened. Cousin! Cuz! Come help me, bro. And this time, Simbat will come in. Oh, shit. Cuz, it's still absolutely true that anyone who tells you I'm trying to murder you is lying. Currently. No rush, cousin. There's no way that's balanced. I can't see how we don't win that. I was going to say he didn't think he was going to win it or he wouldn't have been trying to run away. The important part is currently. The true part is currently. Let's go siege some stuff down. He's got more troops coming in. That's not helpful. We're throwing them out. Popular opinion plus 20 is actually really useful to us. Theoretically, he's got numbers on us now. I wonder if we need another ally. But I'm not convinced there's anyone else we could get in. I don't think the game is always good at determining how many more troops you have. The same goes with more veteran arms. Yeah, agreed. Yoink. When in doubt, go for little, nice little sexy ambushes. Because if you can nab troops before they can run away, they don't have enough troops to mass against us. Sappers is nice. Means we might as well just go back to sieging, huh? Peering through the dusky murk, a 
dusty murk of the armory, my gaze travels over multiple different weapons of war. A pair of batter greaves, a recently sharpened sword, a spear with a worn haft, a rusty farming tool? I pick up the farming implement, perhaps it's been lumped in unknowingly with the weapons. I have the tool examining its curiously curved sickle-like blade. Sure, why not? YOLO We gain Bill Polarm Artifact Which gives us prowess plus one, nice uh, Oh, 23 month reminder, thank you very much uh, We don't need that claim anymore, but it does mean we can flip Priesty Boy to converting more provinces. Right, how long on that siege? Six months. How long on this one? 55 days. Soppy is pregnant. Uh, yoink, sir. I believe the word is yoink. That means, uh, sir, I need limited crown authority. Fuck! Damn it. Did they ever fix it so the AI will religious convert? The AI will religious convert. It very bad at doing cultural conversions, but it will religious convert. Speaking of... Noink, indeed. How do we not have whatever the fuck that was that needs it? How do we not have plenary assemblies? Cousin! You can sort plenary assemblies out, you pleb. Caesar! How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Hello, Raiders. You join us as we attempt to... Well, we've just begun our mission to reform Greater Armenia. Oh, what are you still doing in Vicky 3? I've got, um, my new Small Nations mod is coming along quite well for Vicky 3. I need to share it with you at some point, uh, which is designed to improve play as Small Nations um, and give another pathway to recognition that isn't bullshit wars. Uh, right. Paradox really needs to adjust cultural conversion. I, I, I absolutely do. Like, I want to take your territory, dude. I mean, to be fair, your heir is him. Where am I in this queue? Nowhere near enough. Oh, we need plenary assemblies. Why? Let me click that button. I just want to click that button. Chat. It will again won't let me click that button. Can we flip to another culture that allows to increase? Well, this is what I'm wondering. So, what we could do key thing is remembering we need to be Georgian anyway to get our super sweet units. Does Georgian have it? No. I'll have it in about 35 years. We will have it in... I'm 
before we get it. Like forever. 395 years. Damn it, cousin. We shall put our best men and women into discovering the yoink. This could also lead to the discovery of yeet, which could destroy us all. This is the danger. Like, I don't want to have to murder my cousin. Right, you get out of Dale. I feel like this is our priority. Basil! Basil! Can you, like, help us? Please, Basil. Gains a weak hook on us. That's not happening. Yeah. Oh, it worked. Oh no, poor Soppy. Oh, fuck you, Basil. Right, so we can, if we can get the gold together for it, we can form Georgia. Because these should vassalize once we can form Georgia. No, you're staying in prison. Sir, you are staying in prison until I can yeet your territory. Because you're only going to rebel again. Uh, Tijad needs a guardian. The best guardian he can possibly have is our lover Faruja. Don't die, kid. Because she has lustful, ambitious, and craven. If he gets either of those two, we're absolutely laughing. She's also intelligent, which means that he should get better traits. Um, he's diplomatic and intrigue. I don't think either of them is really going to help us. So I do think we need to stewardship him. Because she's not going to pick stewardship traits. Um, County Clarice, yeah, just give me the money. Plant crumbling walls are someone else's problem. Hello, Napoleon. You on pigeon watch? Erzig! You ain't all that. You ain't all that, Erzig. How you doing, buddy? You keeping watch for those pigeons? I know one was in the Guardian earlier. Guardian? In the garden. It might have been pigeons in the Guardian, but yeah, you watch for those. Uh, we there's a hundred percent chance we lose that, or we can gain some dread, or just take the idea, <laughs> sneak away and take credit for the soldiers' idea. That feels in character. No. Nope. Staying in prison, kid, guys. Pretty sure the discovery of the yeet came much later with the Hussites. Quite possibly. Fisherman's Friend 01, thank you very much for the follow. You are better than all of the fisherman's friends that come after you.
Uh, Grigor is a thrifty clerk. He's not the brightest spark in the box, is our young Grigor here. But he's also not the worst. Um, Count Davit, your territory is looking rather tasty. No, let's let's get this religious right. Chat, remind me in four years when this religious conversion completes. Peasant rabble will slam them down. Uh, no. Slovenia is my child, is she? Right, so. Touch the Boris Johnsons. Right, we've got Strategist. I think we want to get on to learning just so we've got Know Thyself. Because we are going to want it. Or do we go dip first and get the kiddie boosts? Let's get the kiddie boosts locked in now. Just give me a boost on prestige. No, go away. If people think she's ours, can we um marry her off for a uh... I mean, we could legitimise her, but we need our house head, house head to approve it. Like, I want to get the kingdom title. We really need to get the territory off of these dudes, but I'm not sure how we're going to do it. I do think that Georgian conversion may be the way we have to do it. Because we can't set him loose and grant him independence. Creighton now exists. Up. Kill. Kill them. Kill them dead. Are you be running away from me? I think he's quite good. How are you doing, buddy? Yeah, you can join my... Uh... Come join my court. Dreyaslav needs a guardian. He is quite pretty. Damn, she is not looking healthy. How's that typhus working out for you, Rasmohi? He is Slovian, which is going to give him... Ooh, Zubrinosh. They count as spearmen and archers, so we can't recruit them. K. 
Can you um, convert to apostolic, please? Thank you. like you to be educated by Faruda very much the peasant leader really doesn't like me yeah well you know a lot of people don't like me frankly I'm somewhat surprised we're not being murdered yet if I'm honest our other peasant leader doesn't like us either I mean, he really doesn't like us. The thing is, he will like us when we give him a title at some point. Two years left on that. Sure, have fun. I want to get Georgia formed. Right, well, at least he picked a decent inheritance trait. That is good. Well done, cousin. Twenty-one versus eleven. Yeah, I mean the problem is he's a mayor though. He would be very good. But I don't really want to boot out the mayor. And we should also be increasing some control. Because we can con convert to Georgian on our deathbed, which will allow us to recruit those units. And if Georgian... Yeah, so he inherited all of that. I mean, we might as well. No one wants in, though. Is our wife any good? Eh, yeah, gives us a bit of a boost. Fifty-one percent. There's a chance. Um, there are only two in his line of succession. If he they die, does it revert to you? Yes. Which is why, if we can kill both of them, given that he is already in prison, um, I am legitimately not fast. If he dies. I've been receiving frequent messages from three sacred beings. They come to me almost every night, their faces shrouded by divine light. I think they must be the spirits of St. Samuel, St. Joseph and St. Maurice. Perhaps they've chosen me to spread their word and reward me with their blessings in, ter in turn. I will pray to. I mean, invigorated for 10 years is probably quite useful, as we don't want to die.
How hard can it be to kill a wandering four-year-old? Do we even have to do anything for it? Well, quite. Uh, I have a nice wine cellar if you're looking for a good venue. Well, yes. Regal, please feel free to die. Uh, he's brave, vengeful, and wrathful. Yeah, go for that one. I mean, it's kind of working. Right, we can flip off of this. I think after we get the next trait, we should be able to flip off of this. I suspect we will go thoughtful. Unguided wildlife tours. They are the way to go with the children you want to get rid of. Sophie, who you been shagging? Because I ain't got no traits. You want to name him after your dad? Fine. Uh, religious conversion. Thank you very much. Next up, we will go with there. And we are almost, almost. If there is one thing Countess Natia in particular cannot resist, it's her favourite treat. Her next sweet snack will be one part nougat and one part potent poison, forgotten by my agent in front of the child. A bonbon appétit. Countess Natia is dead. Oh dear chat, how sad. All bakers in the area were questioned, but no trace of foul play could be found. It's a high poison to nougat ratio. It is indeed. Well, hello. Also, how the fuck... Oh, it's the other guy died. Hello, my friend. How healthy are you feeling? Feeling healthy? Feeling good about yourself? Right, this has priority over... Um, plot. If we can kill him before he has kids, we're getting all of that. Which is exactly what we want. Now the main problem we have is we can't disinherit. Which is a problem. Tea! We are drinking today, Digester. Don't forget, yeah, buy tea. Other streamers will push energy drinks at you. I push tea. Tea is fun. Tea is life. Tea is tasty. Drink tea. Oh no, poor Bill Polarm. He's such a good guy. Uh, cultural promotion has finished, in which case, can you start there, please? Which 
another tea-loving streamer who plays a lot of Paradox games. I suspect you'd be talking about my good friend Mordred. Do it. Murder him. Oh dear, how sad. Chat. Countess Arden is dead by the lethal bite of a deadly spider. Wave your spider emotes if you have your spider emotes, chat. Wave your spider emotes. Oh, we got the illustrious trinket. Nice. We are now massively over our domain limit, but we can now do some reissuing of territory. Right. First things first, how much territory can we hold if we flip our wife? To domain, that's going to give us up to five. Kingdom's going to give us six. So if we flip the kingdom, we'll get six. Bishop dislikes us again, which is less than useful. If, right, we're at 10, so we need to go up another five to get another boost out of that, so that's not happening. What can we get if we flip our wife? Well, this is CK3, so it depends on market demand. This is true. Now, the other thing becomes whether we can use this as an opportunity to sort out our children problem. Because right now, the Grigor the Bland is inheriting a lot of stuff. We'd really quite like Grigor the Bland to not inherit quite a lot of stuff. But I'm not convinced there's ways we can deal with that. How close am I to forming Georgia? I just need another 44 gold to be able to form Georgia. So basically I'm a year and a half off. Now... Tiljad here is who we genuinely want as our heir. The problem is Grigor. How do we get Grigor killed? I mean, I think he's already one of our knights. We might have to go with some deathbed murder on Grigor. Uh, SMR Fisher redeemed a histo fact. Um, roughly 30% of the money that Hitler spent and the, the money and the resources that Hitler put into building the Atlantic Wall went into the Channel Islands. Um... Because Hitler had this weird vision of the Channel Islands as kind of like becoming the the, the jewel in his kind of one of in his sort of imperial crown, like a a sort of prime holiday spot for Nazis and tax dodgers. I'll let you fill in the blanks as to how that's different from Jersey today. Um, but yeah, so basically, an insane amount of the investment for the for the. Atlantic Wall to try and prevent the Allied invasion went into actually the Channel Islands. But well, there's still so much stuff you can see there today if you go there. Well worth a visit. I mean, he's not going to... We There's very little we can actually do with him. Should 
short of sticking him in prison and murdering him. Didn't I tell you to convert there? I mean, we can stay. We're going to need to give one place away. Now, as things stand, he gets Clargetti. So he gets Clargetti, which is mildly useful. Oblastishke is trash territory, and we're quite happy to give that away, I think. Do want to keep hold of that. That gets quarries, so we want to keep hold of it. That's semi decent. That's trash. But it is coastal, so it's going to get farms and fields and trade ports. Arthur Nuji is the one we're going to give away if we're going to give away anything around here. But that is the one we probably give away first. Grigor is going to inherit that anyway. Like, Ashot is the unknown. Ashot might turn out decent. any good at this? Oh, you go for it, Zivad. God, you're bad at your job. Right, Kingdom is going to give us another domain limit boost. Kill the bishop. Yeah, there's no guarantee we get anyone better, though. Now, the thing with Ashod is, technically speaking, we can make Ashod inherit this if we're clever. Because he still doesn't have kids. And he's too young to have kids. So, technically, our wife is in line to inherit the Armenian principalities. If Prince Simba here, who is surprisingly murderable, dies. But we need Georgia first. Because the danger is our liege creating Georgia and we just don't want that. I would quite like some more subjects. No, you're not getting a week. The alternative is we create a cadet branch, in which case we'd have control over being able to boot people out of our inheritance, but I really don't want to. I want to take control. Kid is getting less taxes, paying less taxes. Fine. Uh, right, you get thoughtful. I think we want to get murdery. We really need to know when we're going to die. We're going to do that and just push for truth and swift. And then we're going to flip. Because we are 45, we are possessed.
Right, let's get George informed. We are the despot of Georgia. You any good? You are surprisingly good. Mm, yeah. Get our banner up. If you can make the good sound strong enough, he'll probably do what siblings do and steal his brother's title. There is that. Like, he's about to come of age. I could just give him a bunch of territory. Oh, we just got Count Davit. Nicely done. Thank you very much. Is he any good at anything? He is a very good diplomat. Join the diplomat club and let's... Let's sway him. If I got to star myself, whatever title I could pick, I would probably not call myself Despot. Yeah, but it is, it's honest. Right, we are one over our limit. So we could technically give something away here, but I'm inclined not to. Because whoever's next will absolutely be able to hold on to that territory. Now, technically, I think you should be my... Oh no, you're part of the Emirate. Which is part of Daylam. Fair enough. Uh, wife dear, can you stop getting prego, please? So I would quite like his territory. But that's part of Pontus, traditionally. Do we have a map on what constitutes Greater Armenia? I assume it includes these places. Other thing is we do have a Holy Order site over there. Just gives a direct vassal opinion boost. So he got Thrifty Clerk. Yeah, he's decent enough. I, we kind of want him taking over. He's ambitious and deceitful. Dude, kill your brother. Well, good marriage fodder. You should absolutely be murdering Grigor. Yeah, no traits might be yours. Yeah, you can tell my kids because they have no traits. Um, Empire View. I don't think it shows up on Empire View because it's not technically an empire yet. Because it technically at the moment would fall under Persia. But it actually overlaps the two. And I don't think there's any other du jour... There is the Duchy of Georgia, which hasn't been created. Okay, so we need a few more titles for that one. We need to go after Aaron. I mean, he'd probably come in without a war, but it's just as easy to fight him. Uh, no, because Greater Armenia is a kingdom title. 
So, I mean, it, at least it lets us know what counts as actual Armenia, which is this. So we do need a bit of Mawand. That is a de jure part of the Armenian Empire. So we do need to go after him. And could. Um, right. He's got a kid now. We'd have to murder his baby. Yeah, killable. I mean, it's not a huge priority for us to get that. Invade Aram with the first on the... Yeah, I mean, we could just do that. We should probably... I don't want to take him off religious conversion. That's the problem. You always say such nice things about me, Basil. Where are other holy sites? Because we want to control three. So that's there. We'd have to get Beirut. Beirut. Dwin, we can, Dwin is controlled by us, but not directly by us. We can get hold of that. Colonia, Colonia we can get. Beirut is down... Yeah, we're going to need to get into the Holy Land. Eesh. That is not fun. Hmm. Future ruler problems. I mean, basically, we're pushing for that, then we're going to that. So he's getting a camps, which is there. He's brave, so we'll go strength of arm. He likes us now, so we can actually stop doing that. He almost likes us. Not far off liking us. Uh, wife, can you seriously stop getting pregnant, please? Let's deal with the smelly, smelly castle. King Bagat, does that mean our, we still should still have our alliance via his sister? Oh no, he's not dead yet. I'm getting the wrong one. That was Ashot the third. Right, that should mean he likes us now, so we can stop that swaying. I feel like we should do some territorial investment. Oh, stop popping out, boys. 
he's very much a big Rallum. So we could give him some territory now and see if he starts murdering people. Jinx of spades, thank you very much for the follow. Like he's gonna get a Dishi, which we do want. Essentially, we want him to start murdering his brothers. We're over our domain limit anyway. Son, please start murdering your brothers. It means we can actually make him a steward and he'd be a better steward anyway. Oh, actually... Son, have you ever considered becoming our spy master? Found a map, want the link? Um, if you whisper it to me, then uh, we can give it a look. Son, you really need to be converting. Yeah, fine. Bit of gold. Now we should cultural convert anyway. But if not, that's good because we can get some Muller for the moon. But we want swift execution and I think we are going to have to flip. Okay, let's have a look at this map. Right, so... Oh, okay, so we need... It goes up rather than down. Interesting. No, it goes down. Oh, we do need all of that territory down there anyway. Jesus Christ, we need the Holy Land. Righto. So we need, it starts here, we need everything from the mountains up here. We do need all of this territory as well, so we do want to get hold of Pontus. We need everything around here. We need all of these. We need all of these, but not that. And we need everything down to... Everything... Down here, around the desert. Basically everything down to the border with Egypt here. And we need this bit of territory up around here. Right, eh? That's a sick hat, son. He does have a good hat, doesn't he? I mean, look, he looks like he's going to murder all of his brothers. Hello, X the Kitty Cat. Welcome back to the stream. And us. Yeah, I, I legit don't mind him murdering us, as long as he's our heir at the time. It's like, knock yourself out, son. But just do me a favour and murder your idiot brother, Grigor, first. Go 
Oh, wait. Will he murder us? He's not the heir. No, he shouldn't. He should. Unless Grigor persuades him to help him to help murder us. And he shouldn't. He should go after Grigor first. Because he's ambitious. So he should want to be the heir to everything. And he shouldn't go after his younger brothers because he doesn't gain anything by knocking them off at the moment. But he gains an awful lot by knocking off Grigor. Uh, Grigor is scarred and a flagellant. I mean, I can just imprison and murder Grigor. Right, we need to spend a gen or so building up a nice Georgian power base here. We're going to need to take a lot of this. We're going to need to... We basically need to disintegrate the Byzantine Empire. That's fine, we can do that. Um, you can marry her. Who's she? She is a lustful... Let's not do that, shall we? Oh no, he's got some... Yeah, no, fair enough. Decent troops. Go marry the loony person. Six years left on that religious conversion. Prince G Gregor of Georgia is our player at. Well, yeah. So, first things first is we are going to want to move our capital to as Abkhazia. It's just a much better capital site. The Perso-Bedouin hybrid culture. Nice. about us getting ill. That fiend of very. Um who's your guardian? How about not? Yeah, like let Tiljad educate him. Tiljad, please feel free to murder your younger brother. Tiljad, you're really slacking on the killing all your brother's stuff here. What's the benefit of Abkhazia over the current capital? The current capital, Tortomi, has exactly three levels of possible stuff and is landlocked. It's going to be decent probably for military, but less so for economy. Abkhazia has the same amount of buildings, but we can actually get another city in there. And it's coastal, which means we'll be able to get some planes down. Uh, some um, trade port, which is going to give them tax and dev growth. So Abkhazia is really where we want to be. And if we move now, we could convert to Georgian culture. Don't know what the du jour capital of Georgia would be. Does anyone know? I assume it's Tbilisi. I assume. What's the priority for money, buildings, men at arms, something else? Uh, money first. Money with a tiny bit of um, buildings.
Yeah, like, what do you think of your brother? New phone, who dis? You want an alliance? Sure. Did we just lose our alliance? Yeah, we did. He doesn't have any daughters. On the plus side, that does mean we can do that. Because we are married to his sister. He has a lot of powerful friends. Quite like him to have less powerful friends, and then we could just go after Tbilisi. Which is a bad capital, we're not going to want that to be our long-term capital. Just isn't a good... Jesus Christ, dude! Yeah, I always recommend going for money before you go for anything else, because money... With money, you can do everything else. Spend some court grandeur, I don't mind doing that. Thing is, if we're going to move the capital there... Don't really want to convert to Georgian. We need to convert to Georgian. Ideally just before we die. Yeah, we might have to do a bit of um bit of a shuffle here. Key thing is getting swift execution. Uh, rip you. We fabricate a hook on him. Because then we can just imprison him. Deal with him that way. It'll be a little bit of tyranny, but it's not like we're exactly doing right in the eyes of God already. Right, three years left on that religious conversion. Woohoo, Cork Randall level zero. Look at us. Look at me, Ma, with my Cork Randall of level zero. Damn it, why is that faction disbanded? I want that faction to not disband. I'd quite like that faction to uh, succeed. Right. That's our murder stuff done. I think we probably... How old are we? 52. Yeah, we need to flip to medicine. What's Grandeur Zero holding court in front of a Four Seasons landscape? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, 
Um, Tigran again, stunning intrigue. Let's not shag our wife. Oh, we can. She's prego. We can shag her. Oh, see, Prince Bagran's quite good. It's a shame we're going to have to kill him. Maybe we don't. Maybe we just take territory back off of him. I really don't want to lose him. He's quite good. Just ignore him. We'll get over it eventually. I feel like we should actually pay for some of this. Because we are basically probably sort of holding court in the back of a pub at the moment. Stop having sons! Right, look, sorry about this. Sorry, kid. It's nothing personal. But you are going in the downstairs nursery. Historical usage of pubs as courts wasn't... It? No, it wasn't. Um, actually, a lot, a lot of people don't realise just how much... How right up until Henry VIII and beyond into Elizabeth, um, the royal court in England very much moved around. It was kind of like tended to base itself out of everyone else's territory. Which is an absolute nightmare if you were the local lord when the king or queen rocked up with their entire entourage that you didn't have to pay for. Get some hill farms down. Hurry up, you useless bastard. Yeah, as I understand, it was often used as a penalty source. Kind of. It was a very handy way of not so much provoking revolt as um, keeping... Forcing, vassal, forcing your vassals to spend money and attention on you rather than plotting against you or whatever else they wanted to do. It's the basis for circuit courts. Yeah, essentially the, the principle being that you'd go around and, and while you're in that area you can petition the king, you can do everything else. Right, so... Still building there. Yeah, anyone who learns Armenian is fine with me. Hello. How are you doing? You going after the pigeons again? Peasant rabble? Bring it. Essentially, there's never a reason not to petition him. Motherfucker! Refuse to see me. Little shit. What an asshole. How's a love affair with a fluffy donut? He does love his fluffy donut. Napoleon absolutely loves his fluffy donut. We keep it on the like windowsill downstairs, and then he can sit in it when he's hanging around with us. Um, and it becomes this sort of fluffy fort that he can 
sit in when I'm This should be creeping up now, shouldn't it? Yeah, we are getting there. Jesus Christ, woman, stop having babies. Grigor, buddy. Pal. Regal, buddy, pal. Right. We want a claim on Tbilisi. Get to work, priest. How murderable are you? Reasonably killable. Okay, daughters are allowed. Oh dear, how sad, chat, how sad. Griegel has died. What a shame. What a shame. I am so desperately sad about that chat. Kid, you are getting murdered so hard by uh, Prince Tjad. You are getting McMurdered so hard. <laughs> yeah, oh no, not Grigor, anyway. Uh, cultural conversions really helpful if all of these cultures weren't really close in colour. Can you do a camps? You're a very intrigueful small child. Uh, Basil is at war with Bulgaria. Have fun, Basil. Give me some... I am going to drop one unit of barracks here. I uh, jumped our grandeur up, which is nice. Quite like him not killing us. Right, we've got our claim. Uh, how are you not? You know what this is? Fucking. Basileus converting our territory. Band of several hundred Paleosians, Sikaliva, enslaved men and women from the eastern reaches of Europe have escaped the realm of my acquaintance, Amir Jafar. 
Talk as ye may about how treasured they were in his armies and harem, they braved many dangers to seek freedom in my land. We all have scars, their leader Dobra Negra tells me, on our bodies or deep inside, but we are strong, determined. We long for some land of their own where we can speak our ancestral tongue. Who are you? Russian Asharis. What units do you have? Do Drizina counter horses? They do not, so we can't recruit them anyway. Look, become a mayor. Can we get religious protection? We can, but not with the current ruler. Because we've already modified, modified our contract once to get title re uh, revocation protection. So next ruler, we basically, the moment Basil dies or we die, we go, we negotiate up to normal and we get religious protection. The moment he dies, we're going after that. Uh, we should also get a march contract next ruler. It's free. Do we want to be a march? I suppose we probably do, don't we? I suspect we do. Um, can you not have only one leg, please? More importantly, we should marry you off. Who has put you on Diplo education? Be an idiot. is French. She's also chaste. That's a good match for him. Because they shouldn't have lots of kids. Which means we can shag around and le legitimize some good bastards. Has cousin got a daughter yet? That is the other option. Good plan. He is 47 with a lot of sons and no daughters. I feel the, Ar fear the Armenian principalities are not long for this world. Yolo, we might get lucky. Otherwise, she's a potentially good match. Remembering we need, we need this territory. 
Oh, you got a dissolution war going on, a liberty war. Right, so have fun. Surprisingly weak at the moment. Think our spy master is already on support schemes, yeah. Um, and we can't flip her to intrigue because we'll screw our domain limit. And I'd much rather have that. It's more of a YOLO thing. If you help your ruler, he'll, he'll get a massive opinion boost. Yeah, but I'd also get murdered. Plus, if he succeed, if this succeeds, then I'm paying him less tax. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. Learning, restraint. My God, yes, we are becoming celibate. I think doesn't. Yeah, we're going to get a stress event. There's nothing we can do about that. Uh, oh man. Okay, that's dropped us down to five anyway. So at this point, that's not actually going to help us. We might as well fling her to intrigue. 65% chance. We might fill it off, you know. Are you any good? You are robust and you are good. Dude, would you like to join my court? No? Why can't you? we make you join our court? Fair enough. Smack your other troops. Yeah, I mean, piecing it out, that was it, wasn't it? Doesn't matter. We'll get him again. Hey, buddy. Remember me. Should we make him our executioner? I feel like there's no reason not to. No, I don't think he would have gone for a hook. Fuck you, Basileus. to marry her to Tijad. See, if we'd had a hook, we'd have been able to do it. We could marry her to a small lettuce. That is a lettuce with some seriously good traits. And a chance of a genius baby.
Three years left on that conversion. Culture in four. Increase control. We'll get another farmy type building here. So we probably want. I suspect pastoral lands. A lot of cavalry damage and archer cavalry damage and pursuit would be very useful for us, but we will get that in other territories. Go away. Yeah, maybe not Prince Ashrock the Fourth, but please feel free to try and do that. Because you are getting imprisoned so hard if you do that. Oi! Out. That means we need to really build some um, castle walls and that. To get some pastoral lands down. Kale is a cabbage rather than lettuce. The same thing. Same thing. Dead yet. My son and heir, Prince Tiljad, has claimed laid claim to the Despotate of Georgia. Apparently, there was a strategic marriage between our dynasties some generations ago, which he's now legally. I mean, he's my son, he doesn't need a marriage. Sure. Oh, we're getting murdered, chat. We are getting murdered. I'm going to have some hash cakes. Yeah, he lost a leg at some point. Do we want Tijad to murder us? We don't mind if he murders us. What we do want to do if he is going to murder us is move capitals first. Mm, actually don't, what we probably just do is build up the buildings. The main issue is he is going to inherit a ton of stuff. Let's be honest, we're not long for this world at this point. So I think we are just going to stash cash. And we do really need to push our wife back to manage domain. Like he's in prison.
Yeah, the inheritance is going to be a bit shonky, I think. It is going to be a messy inheritance, there's not really much we can do about that. At least now we'll know when we're officially going to die. But if he's not trying to murder us, he's doing he's doing things wrong. Because he's our spy master, he's our rival. He should absolutely be trying to murder us. Dead within a year. Yeah, he started a holy war for our fucking territory, little shit. not my war, is it? Come at me, bro. Mm, better troops. Defending a river crossing. Let's not fight them on a river crossing. Oh no, rip Bill Polarm. He lived his life like a candle in the wind. Right, let's do some dynastic pruning. Yeah, we're not going to get him in prison. So he's going to get Abkhazia and a bunch of other stuff. Which is a problem. But we'll just have to deal with it. I 
think flexible leader is probably going to help us here. Right, Basil's getting involved, which is good. Essentially, all we need to do is keep deterring him. Yeah, Tiljad, man, I'm gonna die. Don't worry about it. Now, this is... Hills. Yeah, see, he thought he thought he was going to lose. Ultimately, we just need to deter, deter him while um, Basil's besieging territory. And the good news is, Prince Ashot is now a leper. He is not looking healthy. Because I can't give him that. Is a shame. Yeah, see, we'd lose if we take them on, but we can just deter them, which is all we really need to do. Rip! Can we get some F's in chat, please, for Despot Tornik, who dies at age 62 and did a decent job, let's be fair. Let's be fair here. He founded the Kingdom of Georgia. He was a shameless form of fornicator. Right. Oh, he went down the good one. Nice. So we are now well within our domain limit. We do need to get this shit off of our brother. Who we can murder. And will. Court positions. Count David of Ketty is our diplomat, so he is definitely getting one. Uh, Steward is you. Spymaster is Mayasetti. Marshall is not going to be my brother. It will be you. Honey, can you please help me murder my brother? Yeah, I do need to. I need need to get you a, a, a press B to me alma emote done. We can actually raise more troops now, so let's get the rest of the troops we can raise, because I suspect with them we can actually beat his army. Lifestyles. What do we want to do? I feel like...
Maybe we want to go high-end stewardship. Massively boost the kingdom. Or we go intrigue. Let's go intrigue first. Check our kill score. I don't think we've actually killed anyone. Which somewhat surprised. Hello, that's not good. But Basil's on it. Get him, Basil! As soon as Basil gets in the area, we're good. I feel like we do win this, just. learning perk from some reason. We're going to take pedagogy because we are going to teach some kids. At least our cousin has been doing the right stuff. We will negotiate that alliance. I kind of feel like... Do you have any good daughters? Princess Anna is comely. Because that is still a very useful alliance to us. Well, hello. So we could either do that, or we could do that. And then murder above them, and look to inherit that. Because that's a decent alliance anyway. Either we end up inheriting as her. And. Or it produces kids. We murder our way to get him on her onto his doing being his queen anyway. And that inbred thing is not going to. We got the resilient dynasty stuff now as well. I think that's just we do that. That just seems like a bit of a no-brainer to me. Right, we can now actually start building up some military buildings here. Also, we are booter. And that means we can recruit... Melatho Moon, which we do want to do. 
Oh, we got some already. Nice. He's already recruited some. Which does mean we can now culture convert. If we want and adopt local culture. We do need to speak Armenian. Would very much like, like to learn Armenian. Oh, apparently I know Armenian. That's right. One of my agents has acquired a deadly spider and arranged for a servant to hide it in Prince Ashot's bed before dark. All they need is my go-ahead and he'll be as good as dead the moment the spider strikes. Hope you're not afraid of spiders, Ashot. Wave your murder spiders if you have them, chat. Oh dear, how sad. Prince Ashot is dead by the lethal bite of a deadly spider. The spider struck not long after he retired to his chambers, and although the guards were called, no one could do a thing to save him. Thankfully, spiders do not talk, so the attack cannot be traced back to me. That means we have inherited all of that territory that we wanted to inherit, and if we change our wife back to managed domain, we can even hold all the damn territory. Which is perfect. We should shortly win this war. Disband, disband. Can we? Can't fab a hook on him. We'll go up to normal. I want religious protection and I want to be a march. I think we do want to be a march, don't we? For now, at least. I don't see a disadvantage to us being a march right now. Well, that lit lasted long. Right. That means we can start doing some serious eco boosting here. Now, I think convert faith in Abkhazia. Promote culture there, because we definitely don't want that being booter. That's annoying, it's because he just finished it at the wrong point. Um, do we want to go Georgian before we go back to Armenian? Probably do, don't we? We want to sway you. Oh, get over yourself. Congrats, my Jester. A dark being inhabits her body and occasionally manifests itself. My sister-in-law.
Damn it. I mean, to be fair, you did try and teach a one-year-old some fucking art to speak Armenian. Like, it may have been a bit ambitious to start her on that language early. Oh, hey, the hey, Roman Empire is self-destructed. Nice to see Danelaw on the map. Alba's doing well for itself. West Franca and Aquitaine doing West Frankian things. Lotharingia got hench. Nice to see the Royal Court Bugs are still there. It just massively reduces our stuff. I feel like Knight Effectiveness is more useful to us. Let's see. You got a little wooden leg. Yeah, I don't think we'll be restoring the uh, Holy Roman Empire anytime soon. Get new Marshal. You'll do. David almost likes us. He's not swayed. Can we just bribe him? Damn it. No. Can we murder him? We have to stop trying to impress him. Yeah, what are our petition liege options? We could go for another resettled subjects. Apparently we can't do that. Um, court Granger needs to be at least one. Righto. Got to wait for our... Hey, that worked. Oh, she's setting up to be good, you know. I feel like she shouldn't be called Ferrugia, though. She can be a Sophia. Hello, Finnegan Hartross. Welcome back to the stream. I am good. Oh, we got some quarries. That's nice. Need a new Chancellor. That's a shame. That means the other dude died. But he's a powerful vassal. I know he's not great, but he'll do. Hello, Mesopotamia. I notice your lack of troops. I feel like we do need to control Karen. The problem is we're on religious conversion. Give me scheme power. Seduce power. Think we probably want to go on murderiness. So this is very much going to be our 
warrior area. We do want to get some trade ports down where we can. So money, money, money. We want pastoral lands. Sure, you can make me marshal. Does that not have a coastline? Does that have a coastline? Apparently not. does like us. He didn't like our dad, but he does like us. That's CK3. Yeah, take a look at my CK3 guide, which has been kindly linked in chat there. Um, that breaks down how CK3 works into nice, easy chunks for you. Um, and people tell me it's better than the actual standard tutorial, so there's, there's that going for it. Because, yeah, it can be a tough game to learn to play, it has to be said. Right, we're definitely sticking a trade port down here. But, yeah, so each episode will break it down into slightly kind of nice concept bite-sized nuggets to make things easier for you. Oh, we've almost swayed back our bishop. gradually creeping up on that as well. Yeah, I would actually avoid Ireland. Uh, if you've watched the tutorial thing, um, I normally actually suggest that you start somewhere, you start in Epirus, because it means you're kind of under the protection of Basileus, so you're not having to worry about people invading you all the time, but you've got things you can do to get a kingdom to do all of that. So yeah, the tutorial uses Epirus or Epirus, however you want to pronounce it. So I would absolutely suggest looking that out. Yeah, tell my own story. Steward? Yes, please. I would very much like to be steward. Steward is money. Speaking of, is there anything else we want out of the basil? Can we fabricate a hook on you, sir? No, because we haven't got the thing for it. We'll take the thing for it. At least we're vaguely earning some piety. Not a lot, but a tiny bit. My campaigns always end because I declare war and every possible rebellion starts. Well, the thing to remember CK3 is it's not a conquest game. It's a dynasty game. Well, where's that principality? I mean, it's nice. But I'm not going to go up against the Abbasids for you. So yeah, it's um, war is not a thing you can kind of just instantly declare and do. You do have to put some thought into it. But yeah, follow the tutorial and it will start to kind of cling together and make a bit more sense for you. That would be my suggestion anyway. Right, so can we build any? I don't think we can build any of these yet. Just won't have the stuff for it. Wrathwort and... Peck is of the flags. Thank you both for the follow. And String, I missed your... And Decane. God, I've missed some follows. I really apologise about that. Right, so this duchy here is the one we're building up into our troops duchy. But because it has got a coastline, we do want to get a trade port down. But the other buildings around here, we are going to want to keep as... So that, we could get a trading place in. We get a trade port down. Uh, rip our mother. Because while we're steward, we're banking a lot of cash. And that means it's absolutely worth us taking the opportunity to do this stuff. Um, she is merely decent, but she wants to weave something glorious. Fine.
Something showcasing the untamed beauty of nature. Work of abstract artistic beauty, please. Right, we've swayed our priest enough. He likes us now. Uh, do I play other Paradox games? I play all the Paradox games. Not often on stream, no. But yes, Mondays is Victoria 3. So tomorrow will be Victoria 3. Probably. Yeah, it should be. We should actually just do that, because we're not actually trying to murder anyone at the moment. Although we possibly should be. Right, you need a good education. And we are good to educate you. So we are going to educate... Are we doing it already? Oh, we are already warding it. Great. Um, we cancel work and gain a bunch of money. Prince of Fears does set stylish fashion. I don't really want to be paying a lot for stylish fashion. Well, it does give us a nice boost. And um, we gain some learning. do that because it gives us the prestige and the prestige is useful and actually we could sponsor again if we wanted I'm not going to Fin and Fogel focus getting the game is focusing on men at arms rather than levies learning to support those and using to do much of the fighting helps me. yeah I think so what I'm doing here because we are, remember, we are a growing kind of power. Is I'm essentially controlling two duchies is really good, but also what you kind of want to do is you want to min max your duchies. So, and what I mean by that is, where if you own, if you control two duchies, can we appoint her as physician, please? Um. We not have got physician. You we do have a tutor, don't we? Yes, we do. Good. So this duchy, I am gradually building up to focus on money because it means I can then build a duchy building that boosts the, the tax value in it, so it get I get the most value out of that. Whereas this duchy is the one we're boosting for troops. So these are the two duchies we're going to want to continually control as the game goes on. And by doing that, it means that we're maximising the troops and we're maximising our money. And at this stage, rather than focusing on further growth, that's the priority. He wants a feast held. We probably should hold a feast, to be honest. But if you look, like we're up to 3k troops now. And we're generating good cash. Now granted we're getting a chunk of that because we are the steward, our liege is steward, but it's, you know. Child ruler. Basil, buddy, pal. Anything else we want? Don't think so. We're going to take truth as relative. I'm actually going to flip us now to focus on dev growth. Because we want to get pedagogy as we're educating our kid, just for those extra points. What are we educating her in? She is on stewardship, so that's good. That's what we want her to be. Right, let's get some more building work going while we're generating the good dollar to do it. I don't get why we can't build a 
trading post here. But we've got quarries here. Right, we've got pedagogy already. I think as we're on this track, let's push for restraint and know thyself. Yeah, I think the barony needs to be coastal, that's what it is, and technically speaking, it's not. Right, that was a... cash windfall. Steward, yeah, you can have it. 16 years, Jesus Christ, should we kill our bishop? I feel like he might need murdering. Do you want to help me kill our bishop? Because we could really do with a better bishop. It's a massive hindrance to us. Right, small harbour in Batumi. That is technically our money district, so we want farms and fields next there. Almost got enough gold for. Because we are motoring on cash at the moment. Uh, naked people. Fair enough. We're best friends with a naked person. Because while we're motoring on cash, we keep building cash buildings. By building cash buildings, we can then turn around and create more buildings for troops. We can get men at arms, units built up, and we know we can support them. So there's just lots of advantages all round. Uh, our good lady Cabbage is pregnant. Yeah, Child Emperor's gone. Can he get excommunicated? I probably can't. Because he is quite good at what he does. He's just annoyingly crap. We do kind of want to self to destruct the Abbasids at some point, but we'll work on that. We want to get the territory we need from the Byzantines first. Because we need this territory anyway, so right now I think we focus on that. Really want to be able to get hold of you. To be fair, if we had a hook on him... We could get Karen or Mesopotamia. Our head of faith doesn't like us, which is a shame. Anyone good? That skill is many deep. Mark here, it's you again. Go away, dear. Let's hide tents. My agents have scheduled a journey for Varantes, which will take them through dark woods. All that's missing is the band of thugs that will tragically slay them in a highway robbery gone wrong. Oh dear, the woods are so dangerous. Did we get a better one? Barely. Jesus. Previously a peasant, he's lived an interesting life. Right, so I can technically declare war on Aaron. Because we can go for that Dejour County. So we probably should just because we can. Because we absolutely outtroop him. We don't even need to call in our allies. Short, sharp war. Job done. Troop, everyone will be home by Christmas. Uh, 
I mean, I could just call in Prince Simbat just because I can. Second genius daughter. You know what, come on in. Join the party, pal. Please me greatly if you could personally see to little Eudoxius Macadon's education. You want me to educate your kid? Sure. Could you go murder them for me? Cheers. Uh, right. What else do we need? Let's get some more unit boosts going on here now. So this needs military camps. We'll probably put some pastoral on it. I mean, yeah, we could essentially marry our way onto the throne of the Byzantine Empire here, but let's not... That's the siegeable one. I feel like we really want a holy order as well. Right, I'm going to ransom him because actually we're still going to win anyway. Free money, chat. It is free money. Wish you'd hurry up and die. Might want to increase our men at arms. Yeah, so I'm balancing that at the moment with doing dev. I'd rather get buildings down first. Because the moment we start building, what do we want? What do we want here? The moment we start doing men at arms, it's going to start costing us upkeep, and upkeep. Go away, Markia. Is there a game where one of your family don't become bad? It does seem to tend to happen a lot. Let's be honest. God damn that county. Jesus. Well, that might be our future capital, you know. Look at that. It's insane. Become cynical, and we do kind of need to hold a feast. Can we afford to hold a feast? No, but we can hold a hunt. do want to get enforced counsel on Byzantines. Mm. 
let's try and get a hook on him. Because we haven't modified our contract under him. Hello. Fancy meeting you here. A lovely vacation in Georgia, I see. It is a lovely vacation here. Salty PO, thank you so much for your subscription. Baghdad is indeed on our list because it has one of our holy sites. Free money. Are currently booter. We do need to be Georgian just so we can re re recruit a unit of the badass troops. Given that we're quite a decent ruler and can probably deal with the cultural issues, I feel like we want to convert to Georgian. Rope Trick, thank you for gifting three subs. Enjoy the Lurking Dragon. Dr. Alex, enjoy your sub. And Lucky Sino, enjoy your sub. Not least because Georgian has plenary assemblies, so we could immediately go limited crown authority. So I feel like we kind of want to do that. I mean, we don't technically have to be Armenian, but we want to be Armenian. The Fondle, thank you for your subscription. We're kind of going for the double. We do want to be Armenian. We're going for the Armenian Empire, after all. So how would we we would do this is what we need to do is that is Georgian. So we move our capital here. Convert to local culture. Get a silly hat. That means we should, yeah, we just need a bit more prestige and we can do that. But just as critically, it should mean we can now replace them. getting rid of archers but we're gonna have to no we're gonna have to get rid of our mangonels and onagers for now and we want manaspa we just need one unit of them
Fuck you. I wouldn't mind some super passages, to be fair. The Ballad of the Garlic King. Again, the nickname, the Garlic King. Righto. Uh, yeah, you Duxus, you can be honest. But we are on a very dangerous stress point. We must serve our ducks with garlic, it helps master taste. It's quite possibly. Pastures, Hunter's Lodge, Tide Tents, looking good. You're doing Dev, which is good. You're doing very slow religious conversion. Increase control. Sophia is our friend. Little genius daughter number one. Genius daughter number two. Probably going to go intrigue. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, Eric or Japazi gains no raiment for five years. Sure. Chancellor, you uh, keep running around all in the buff with his muscles out. Look at him with all his little muscles out. He's buff, man. Uh, oh man, Sophia, that's uh, some bad fucking traits. Intent's probably the least worst of those. Uh, Rakish, we will absolutely be. It's very character fitting. It fits with our character. That's fine. Wife's forty-two, so we're not. She's probably not going to pop us out any more kids, or we're getting close to that point, which is good. That does mean we might want to consider having a tumble with someone else. See if we can churn out a really good air, a male one. Oh my, what a big weapon he has. Well, yeah. I'll receive a book. Upon it are instructions for a practice called bibliomancy, where one might divine their fortune from a passage of a book. I'm going to take. I might, gain a, oh, I might gain a learning lifestyle, boy. Fear is little death that brings total obliteration. Without fear, I die but once. I have faced fear, the mind killer. Right, that gives us know thyself, which is good, and... I suspect we want... This doesn't really help us because we don't intend to stay Georgian. Stress gain reduction would be good. We do need to pop over here.
Do we want the genius door to marry to inherit? It is possible. But the thing is, if we end up with a good male bastard, at least we've got the option. Hello? Hello? Someone got from dependence. Well done, Prince Simbat. I do wonder if there's an event related to that, because I see that happen quite a lot. You know, if we kidnapped him, got him into our service, because he's not going to inherit anything. The, the Sajid and Kurdistan were before either. Yeah, maybe they did. They did a successful. Independence War. Maybe they did a successful faction. The success successful faction would, would explain it. Um, let's get some limited crown authority. Just an independence will pop up as a bum right. Oh right, okay. I mean we need that territory as well, but that's whole court we could afford it. A thin, raggedy peasant stands before me, gawking at the opulence of my throne. Obviously distracted, I call him to get into attention. Oh, I'm sorry, my lord. I are, my village in Abskazia was hit by blight this year. We lost not only our crop, but our seed, too. We have nothing. We shall starve without help. Glancing around my throne room again, he adds, Surely you have wealth to spare? Because we've got high stewardship, we can do crop sharing. Which is awesome, so let's do that. Two of my vassals are pushing one another and jostling to reach my throne first. Countess Meskezia bows before me. My lord, murder is wanton in the city streets throughout the despotate of Georgia. It would be civilizing if we instituted a ban on townspeople bearing arms, at least within city limits. I feel like we should do that. Let's ban open carry, shall we? You dislike me, but you want to be my bodyguard. No, thank you. Uh, right, can we build our extra special cool unit? We can. Mm. 
Right, we're allowed pikemen because they counter cavalry. I feel like I should be allowed some bowmen, just because they are incredibly useful. Every peasant everywhere has a Somerset accent. Exactly. Have you never met peasants before? They all sound like they're from Somerset. She's four. Mm. Okay, look, you can get intrigue. And for now, you are going to be educated. By your mother. Sophia's not really getting the good traits. Right, we want more stuff that does units here. Probably hunting grounds. Oh, she squeezed in her last sprog. Right at the last minute. Let's see what we get. Oh, hey, Alania. Oh, man, look, um, the empire up here totally collapsed. Hey, Wallachia. Good for you, man. Nice work. Kinda do need a sun now. I think we are gonna have to shag around chat and try and get ourselves a legitimizable bastard. Okay, in which case we get groom to rule thoughtful and then we're going on to seduction. Tyranny war? Yeah, you're gonna win that. Hench Bavaria. Oh, damn, yeah, look. Go Bavaria. That's a well placed plus 25. How about we don't make him our spy master? Fuck you! Fucking Vikings, man, turning up and ruining my day. Oh, nine years. Doxius is done, which means we can start educating Juliana. I assume we've still got Vikings hanging around up here somewhere then. Is Kiev still doing well? Yeah, fucking Kiev. Wankers. 
And we can create Georgia now and should. This joke is so good, there's a 1% chance I might die of laughter. Go on then. Oh, damn. Oh, shit, we need to get conquering. Someone got themselves dissolved. Abbasids go boom indeed. And if it wasn't for that, we've got to keep this idiot on fucking like, religious conversion stuff. Oh, you're a tiny bonus one. We got up to Devoted Servant, we could found a Holy Order. It's Naked Guy's moment to shine, it absolutely is. If we had any wars, we could actually fight. He's just standing there in all his buffness. I do really want to eat that. We've spent so long converting this, I don't want to just abort it though. I can take all of that. But he fucking hates me, so let's not. Damn, Sophia. That is some traits. Is there any chance to accept vassalage? No, because we're not de jure. I don't really want to speak Russian. Can I get another ally with third daughter? I absolutely can. Just not convinced I want to yet. Very competent. Sold. Let's do it. Give me a sword. get our Tegri books out as well, so we should have that on display. Give 
give me some hill farms, pastorals. Nothing else there I can build that's going to boost income. So give me some camps. Give me thoughtful. Get me onto temptation, please. Right, we want. We are intelligent. Can we get someone beautiful? Is adult female not a ruler? Oh, we could we could lure the Princess Maganush over. Technically, we're related to it though. She's chased, so that's not going to help. Carlux have any good units? Sort by age, please. Kinda gotta be her, but she would go for it once we unlock the thing that counters negative penalties. See, she's chased. She's sadistic and ambitious. What's the one down from that's pretty, isn't it? He's all right. Don't name him after me, though. They have all swiped the wrong way. found a holy order. Basically we need to get one more rank of holiness up if we want to do that. The death reason would be died from excessive laughter if the joke kills you. Nice. Well 
Where's that? Yeah, not useful. Technically, we do need it, but... Five years, and then we can vaguely get him to do something useful. Fine, have some money. Um, seriously, can we just boost stuff here? Georgian Sword. Prowess plus four. That's quite nice. That is not bad. Slightly better than our existing sword. Oh, Juliana's just accelerated herself into the air leadership stakes. Because Ambitious is nice. Rip naked guy. No! Is he dead? Oh, he's just finally decided to put a shirt on. Someone's finally had a word with him. Right, I feel like we should go on a pilgrimage. We're going to go to Jerusalem. That's definitely a Wesleyan Princess Bride shirt. It really is. We fought off some bandits. We can probably Wesley ourselves up, you know. I assume he's of our culture. I feel like we go with that, actually. That looks good. And I really do hate that hat. Can we go with a slightly better crown? That'll do. And that is terrible hair. Pilgrimage or recon? Well, we do need to conquer it. This is true. Right, that makes us a pilgrim, so we just need to do some build a couple of churches that would do it I just think getting a holy order down would be really really good uh, what's your claim on oh shit means going to war with our friend though no Napoleon is not watching the birds outside he is happily napping somewhere I think Thing is, he should come back. He's married to our daughter, isn't he? I feel like he shouldn't be swanning off when he's married to my daughter.
bit of consular consolidation going on around here now. Four years, fucking hell. I mean, Tbilisi's not bad. It's not amazing. Don't promise me a good time. I don't think we want it to be arrogant. So we go for Unshackled Lust. Oh, rip my steward. We have a nice, stable, peaceful kingdom. We just need to... I mean, that... I kind of feel like we need to at least go for some of this. Because we can just go for the whole emirate. We basically need this bit. That's the bit we need. So you've got the Sheikdom of Shaki. We need the Yazidi Emirate, basically. Given he's got no freaking troops. We can't afford it anyway. Well, yeah, I can always release the extra bit. Just a very pricey war. Boobs away. Wait, are you? Who are you? Simbat died. He was the last line of Armenia. That does mean that Prince Hosep has that at the moment. And apparently I have claims on that. Don't ask me how or why.
but apparently I do. I mean, it'd be kind of rude not to, wouldn't it? Give me that house banner first. Time to take 3,000 guests to Sambat's funeral, yeah. No, so, yeah, since you're breaking a lot for to dissolution wars lately, it's really shaking this. So the thing is, I think it's always kind of gone for Dissolution Wars. I think the difference now is that Dissolution Wars actually work. And that's frankly the big difference. Because they didn't used to work. Because they were bugged. So the AI would fight them, and it would win, but it wouldn't achieve anything. How you doing, boys? Oh, let's try some Tinder. Nope. Nope. Hello. I mean, it's the daughter of the Basileus. You kind of feel like you have to, but no. Nope. No. Nope. Welcome back, Vermantis. No. 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 Nice hat, but no. Nope. 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 Vespian? I go Russian. She has been busy. She has had a lot of fun. What are we looking for? Traits. Traits or a particularly relevant or interesting culture. Kazar would give us horse lords. She is slow, so probably not, but I think I have to have a minimum in the pile before it'll let me stop doing this though, so. Avar is also horse lords. Yep. I think we do go after her though, she's Persian.
there's still a zero percent chance. Let's stop that one. Yeah, it's not quite them over a river crossing. Is that a river crossing? Is that a river crossing? Oh, we got him. Always nice when you can split the enemy's force. They're going to get away, but that's fine. We're just going to sit and siege down his capital. How are we back down to fucking zero royal court again? Like, how do we keep losing so much fucking court grandeur? We're going to sit on this until we get it now, I think. Just because it's a bit of a beast of a siege. We do need a new steward. Yeah, fine, it can be you. 19 months, praise be. Well, we did just kill some rebels for him, so that's nice of us. Um, what we could actually do is... I'm declaring I'm allowed to keep archers until we can get some horse archers. Uh, you have no traits, so... Fine, but... Mostly just shagging you for stress release. Juliana can become a zealot, or she can be brave, or she can be calm. Be brave. Um, we are absolutely hitting the wacky backy. She is chased, that is a problem. Hello. Welcome. Siege some territory. Right, unshackled last. Uh, 
I'm not fighting them in the mountains. They can come out of the mountains and then I'll fight them. Hello, it's me. Go unseize that. Go unseize that. Then we go smack them around, and we should be able to unseize these and get down there to do it in time. I think. Where'd catapults go? We ditched them so we could reduce or recruit better horses. Rip my wife. Oh shit, that's a problem. Find me someone who has the most... That'll do. Get them. Preferably before they win that siege. Because that will annoy me immensely. Could have filtered from Fertile. Doesn't matter because we can do that. If we really need to. Sophia's kid is six. How is she at my court in Naxos? Naxos is not my court. So here's Prego again, so let's see what she pops out. Some bats. Decent. Potentially. Smack them around a bit again. Yoink. Don't 
Right, we need to do some serious territorial sorting out now. Because a war against the Yazidid would... Um, basically, wars against anyone who is Muslim is going to boost us up quite nicely. Could go after the sheikdom of Turaban. He has us not I'd have enough money for us to make that worthwhile. You do. That is a big fucking duchy. That is six, six. Twenty-six. I wonder if we form the Duchy of Georgia and give it to him. Here we go. Revive Greater Armenia. Shouldn't we? I need 1,543 more troops to take over head of the dynasty. Or to get him less troops. This is what we need. So it could be worse. So to form it, we need Click the region. So this is what we need to form it. If we have Jerusalem as well, that and the other ones, they become de jour. So we probably do want Jerusalem before we form it. I think you need 1.5k total, but you're not house head, so you can't become dynastic head. How do I become house head then?
Right, how do I take over the house? I'd have to basically murder everyone, wouldn't I? Napoleon's managed it successfully, yeah. Because it goes across, then up. I think I'd have to kill a lot of people. Yeah, but we're trying to form our avoid forming and forming our own house. Maybe we just have to. Unless we marry back into it. Because she's the house heir. Yeah, he's he's who basically we want to invent inherit as one of these, don't we? Because they're technically Babkin's kids. So they're in line relatively early on. bit of unpicking we need to do here.